is I, Fernando's Mermaid Books, and today we have to talk. Um, yes, I've been gone for like, what, two to three months on BookTube. It's been crazy, um, but I guess in this video I'm really, I'm just going to explain what's been happening, what's going to go on, and will I ever post another video, which of course I might obviously post another video, hopefully. Um, it's just that I took a break from the booktube community in general because I, as you know, all of you know that um, I suffer from depression and, you know, this year has been hectic so far, so I, re I can't really say it's been a blessing <laughs> because I lost many jobs, I got, you know, school was suspended, a lot of things were canceled, events and things and trips I was gonna go to and that just makes you become even more depressed and so a lot of things happened throughout the year and so I tried to manage and control that but I feel like it was just getting overwhelmed and so the last uh, readathon I did was my round three of the Mermaidathon which was absolutely amazing um, the hosts, of course, were always amazing, and hopefully round four comes around the start of next year, but as of right now, I took a break from book two because things were getting a lot hectic for me, and I still was, I was still reading, um, which, you know, I have to still read because if I don't read, I'll get depressed, but I took a break from book two and, like, my friends and family in general because I needed to just take some time to kind of get my stuff together because you know sometimes you gotta just go you know out there and say i guess i have to take a break from everything just so i can start revitalizing myself and so it i did um a lot of good things are happening this year of course i'm filming this on the day biden was elected presidency so i'm amazed i'm happy i'm just astounded and so things are going in order now corona is still crazy but i'm still trying to like you know get things sorted out going back to school i start a new job next week so things are going as i'm you know as i plan them to be um as for booktube i'm still there like it's not like i just you know deleted twitter youtube and you know everyone i've written uh and became friends with on booktube i'm still talking to you guys um i didn't you know ignore you guys i still want to talk to you guys i just took a i guess a break from booktube in a way where i wanted to take a break from the readathons because it was also getting hectic for me because after the mermaidathon I wanted to be in all of these other readathons, and so the thing about me as a reader is things change, and your reading tastes change as well, which is crazy. Like I was always this kid who just like I'll join every single readathon, I'll read all the books, even though I always end out ambitious and never really end up reading all the books. But that changed, and I'm gonna talk more about that at like the end of the video. Uh, you know the second half about booktube but i'm okay i'm alive everything's going well things just haven't been going well and that's why i took a break from my booktube channel because it was hard filming videos and oh my gosh i have so many videos to edit i have uh, like i stopped doing videos but i have videos planned i still have a book haul that i wanted to do that spans what june july august september october i think there's my september wrap-up my october wrap-up and you know it's been going well like i've been learning a new method of reading which is helping me so much because i literally read so much more now because of this method it's a weird method but you know i stuck to it and so i you know i went with it and so i'm happy about that and so it's making me read so much more now and uh, i'm thankful for audible as well because audible has been helping me a lot now uh with reading books i've read so many i've listened to so many books on audible like that i wouldn't have gotten to if it weren't for audible so i'm really happy for audible and a lot of things were happening with my reading taste as in i think i might not be able to enter any more readathons at the moment because i feel like i never stick to them like i think i told you guys like months ago in like another announcement where i eliminated my tbrs like i stopped doing tbr videos because every time i stick to a tbr for a month 
I get sidetracked. I always want to read the newest book or like another book that's in my bookshelf and then it gets overwhelming. And so like I never stick to the TBR and then at the end of the month when it's my wrap up, sometimes it's good because I always end up reading, you know, some other books I've read, some books that were in my TBR, but at the same time, I never meet those goals and then I get so overwhelmed and then I get depressed. I'm like, why can't I cover these goals? And I know it's not a challenge to finish all these books as long as you're having fun and you're reading and enjoying them that's what matters and so that's what I kept telling myself and I'm very grateful for that because now it's like if I don't finish like a book in a month it's okay as long as I read something because you know I have all my life to read and so but you know this method has been helping me a lot I actually have it right here um it's like a round thing so like the thing about me is like I separate like uh, a specific amount of books and like I separate them and then I color code them with like for example there's a there's a section here called fandoms I have Mockingjay, Ballads of Songbirds and Snakes, House of Hades, Blood of Olympus, New Moon Eclipse so these are like books I think you know I want to reread and that are also like YA classics and then I have for example Currents is uh like I have nine books here that are in this section called Currents. It's actually, Currents means that they are books that I've started and I kind of put off, but they are in my Goodreads as currently reading. Uh, or like Hefties, I have Malice that I'm still going to that's in one of the sections right there. And so it's been helping me so much. Like for example, The Walking Dead is its own section because Walking Dead is like 16 books long. And imagine I'm already on book, what? 11 so like that's awesome so and then i have a section for illustration so like that could go for the you know loner sculptor uh drama nameless city those are just graphic novels comics and manga and so like there's another one called amaz outlet i kind of combined that from amazon and um, uh, book outlet and i put books that i bought from there together and so it this method i don't know what's you know been happy with this method but it's been helping me a lot because since july I've read a hundred, I know, right? A hundred and ten books since July. And I actually took a break off from reading in August. So that's July, September, October, including November. So four months, I read, in four months, I read a hundred and ten books. That's just crazy for me because I've never read that many books, you know. And I guess I have to, like, also add, you know, credits to the corona because I didn't do anything. But still, like, it's just helped me a lot. And so this is what I'm going to be doing. And I also have a surprise. Um, I've also wrapped books. Um, a lot of people have been doing this since, like, 2015. I have to credit Wish Fulfillment because she, I know she's been doing them since 2015. She's always wrapped her books and she you know has been doing them and it's been working for her and i did this back in like what 2018 i believe i did it for like 24 books just to test myself and i finished like what four out of the 24 books or five out of the 24 books but it helped because it made me pick those books up that i wasn't going to be able to read in like you know the nearest future maybe like much more ahead and it helped me and so i was like okay i just let me wrap a hundred books that uh, are farthest from my tbr because you know i have these books in this section that i want to read right now like cinderella is dead cursed the finish the clockwork um you know the infernal devices finish free reading twilight i want to finish the walking dead series but i never put mind to the books i've had for a while or maybe even you know recently that are in my tbr so i'm like why not wrap the books that have been in my tbr or the books that are not at the highest of my tbr list and add them so then when i unwrap them I try to read them and then see if I enjoyed them and then you know that way I progress with my TBRs even more because I have like over 700 books I have not read which is cray cray but yes um let me just drink a little bit of water I think that is all I have to say mm. Yeah, because I explained the TBRs. I don't do TBR videos anymore. The only things I'm going to do in my YouTube channel as of right now is I'm not, um, I'm not like leaving BookTube. I already had a break for like two to three months. Um, I got to go back. I do have videos that I really have to post um, my book haul. I have to post my September and October wrap up and then uh, my unwrapping videos. 
But as far as I know, I have no idea what else I'm going to be posting on my booktube. I might do vlogs and 24-hour readathons because I'm really good at those. But after that, TBRs, I'm not going to do. Book hauls are not going to be planned as much anymore because I want to have a book buying ban because I have over 1,200 books and I have to stop because I live in a little room. You know, until I move out, I can buy more books, but there's no more space. <laughs> I'm getting overwhelmed and uh, i have to stop buying books maybe i'll buy them you know most anticipated books but that's it no more like crazy hauls um but that's all i had to say i really uh, apologize for not being you know able to tell the whole world about where i was how i'm doing but i'm doing much more better uh life is getting easier covid is still there but you know we gotta be positive biden is president so like i'm i'm happy for that um but that's all i had to say i've just been having fun with my reading i know i took a break from everything but reading has been exemplary but um yes guys i have to say goodbye to the video i will have to pick i'm blind right now because i don't have my glasses on so i'll just pick a random book from my shelf uh i'll pick truth witch um because you know we always end the outro videos with a book clapping the camera but yes i have to pre-record videos i have to start posting and editing because i'm coming back to booktube and i have to start watching everyone by the way i'm so sorry if i haven't been watching all your youtube videos you guys know who you are um it's just like i said i took a break from everything but i'm gonna be getting back into them because you know i still got i gotta binge watch jay shauna first of all because jay shauna is my number one favorite booktuber and so like i gotta binge watch her her videos because like they're fun and amazing you guys should follow her she's she's amazing she's an angel um but yes after this i'm gonna be i'm gonna have to do a lot of videos but yes hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i enjoyed it too as i keep saying keep on swimming my little mermaids until next time goodbye